Welcome to US 360 I'm Nils Okant. Today, our team is back in Port Prince, Haiti, for a really special occasion. The grand opening of the schools that Suchi has decided to rebuild after the earthquake. The Collège Marianne and Christ the King Secretarial School. When the earthquake took place on January 12, 2010, Suchi volunteers immediately went to the most affected areas to see who needed more help. And that's when they met with the Sisters of St. Anne, devoted Catholic nuns who told them they needed help because their schools were destroyed during the quake. That was the beginning of a really long and true relationship that would lead to the amazing building you see behind me. Follow me on this amazing and touching journey. Two different religions, two different organizations from two different countries, and volunteers from US, Canada, Taiwan, and Haiti are united for one thing and one thing only. That's love. Love pour me. You made a promise and you did it. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing now. And thank you for what you will keep doing because we truly want you to settle here in Haiti. Passing by the Christ the King School where I used to be a student, I thought what we're going to become. It took 16 months for this dream to become true. Niemen Zajar, Gay Heidzeman, Iga Jihui, Shuishi, Iga Jihui, Shodao, and Halda, Jiao Yu. Niemen Zajar, Bangju, Haiti, the Fajana. So you will be also Ganshe, Juha. Please welcome Executive Director of Global Volunteer, Brother Stephen Huang. Representant de la Fondation Bouddhiste de Taiwan, Suchi, le Directeur des Affaires des Volontaires à l'International, Monsieur Stephen Huang. On behalf of Master Cheng Yen and all over the world, Suchi volunteers, I want to say thank you. De la part de Master Cheng Yen et de tous les volontaires. Je pense que c'est trois ans ans, 2011. When I recall three years ago, after the earthquake of 2010, I remember breathing in the stench in the air because it rained often. The locals would dig holes here and there as temporary bathrooms. You could see the urine flow down the streets. It was extremely unbearable. But among the foul odor, you saw people sleeping in tents on tattered pieces of cloths or on cardboards on the same streets where the urine and feces would travel by underneath where they slept. At that time, it was truly devastating. Actually, today when I saw my Jordan friends, the Army Jordan, let's welcome them. You know, without Jordan Army, U.S. 82nd Airborne, or a Brazil Army, or China, the uh, police people, uh, during the earthquake, after the earthquake, we cannot do anything. So we are so thankful to the U.N. Peace Force keepers. While we distributed tons of shipments of relief aid, we conferenced with Master Cheng Yen for 84 consecutive days. You wonder how we were able to do that, especially in the last two to three weeks. Master Zheng Yen said, Well, there should be nuns around. How come you guys didn't see any of them around? It's a Catholic country. Once she made this suggestion, we immediately went to search for them, which fortunately we were able to find. It's a wonderful school, the two of them. Yeah. Beautiful school, thank you very much. Without you, the Suchi Foundation, we would never have been able to rebuild what we lost during the earthquake of January 2010. And so we were here very soon after everything was destroyed, and it was during those first meetings that I met the Suchi organization. Nice to meet you. The first time I visited, I was standing right there by the short house. That's where we had our first meeting with the Sisters of St. Anne and learned more about the school. And that's where they gave us the rights to the land as well. But it's a beautiful, beautiful meeting uh, that we had together, and uh, but it's a beautiful dream that has come true. And so it all began from that house over there, right there. And now, three years later, it's turned out like this today. It's incredible. I can't believe it. I don't know, is Sister Rita accept the school? We accept the schools. 
who's accepting it. However, is much, much more than two buildings. It is a gift of hope in a country where hope was sometimes difficult to find following the earthquake. The real foundation for these schools is that compassion can work miracles. Following the earthquake, many people and many groups came to Haiti to help. And many people made many promises and said they would come back. But as the months passed, many people did not return and many promises were broken. But to the Suchi volunteers today, I want to say to you, you came back and you did what you said you would do. You kept your promise. <laughs> It's my first time to Haiti. I'm very touched by the hospitality and of Suchi's accomplishment. It goes to show the truth in the saying, just do it. Compared to the other buildings along the streets, it feels like you are entering a different world when you come into College Marianne. The people here say this is Haiti's largest building. How do you like the, the building? Yeah, nice building, very nice building. Yeah, you like to see uh, the situation is improving in Haiti and this is uh, a good job, an excellent job. I would like to thank this foundation, Suchi Foundation, very much. You guys made such a great contribution. We need to all work together to improve relations between Taiwan and Haiti, as well as to spread compassion to the international community. I think education here is critical for the development of Haiti. So now they have a very good school, a very good building, and I think that spirit of collaboration between people of various communities is really outstanding. Our hearts have already become one with the Haitian people. This is the most touching point. Compassion creates miracles, so we need to keep pushing Tsuchi's spirit of compassion to continue Tsuchi's efforts here. Uh, it's always my dream. It's always my dream. It has remained a dream of mine to come back here to witness the fruits of our labor. <laughs> Although the College Marianne is now one of the greatest buildings here in Port-au-Prince, when leaving it, it is easy to see that struggles are still here. Unemployment, poverty, hunger, and precarious living conditions are the daily life for many Haitians. That is why, for the students, the teachers, and many locals, the grand opening of the College Marianne is a real sign of hope. Je n'avais jamais espéré que j'arrivais à une école aussi formidable. C'est très beau, c'est l'école, je l'aime. On ressent comme une chaleur, une vivacité avec la nouvelle école, le bâtiment. Et ici, il y a des tableaux, il y a tout ce qu'il faut pour jouer. Parce que s'amuser, ça, 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 ça fait partie de se relaxer, étudier, ça nourrit l'esprit. Je ne pense pas que je peux trouver de mots pour exprimer comment je me sens. Parce que vraiment, c'est la joie à son maximum. I feel truly in heaven, you know, because heaven is where happy people are and where people have a smile on their face and their heart full of hope and joy. Je pense que la Fondation Suchi a fait quelque chose de bon pour notre pays. We didn't know if we could possibly have another building where we could have a better education. But now, with the school, there, it's not only a building, but it's a sign that of hope. Fier, heureuse, pleine de reconnaissance dans le cœur. The building is amazing. It reminds me like a very expensive hotel. La mer.
C'est plus confortable. Un bâtiment antiparasismique, c'est, c'est mieux. On, on est plus en paix. Je pense que c'est très bénéfique pour nous, parce que nous en avons vraiment besoin dans ce pays où l'insécurité, tout ça, la méfiance des gens. C'était joli, j'étais contente parce, parce que dans le bâtiment, il n'y avait pas tout ça. Après le 12 janvier, on, était, on avait des difficultés à commencer, à reprendre, à travailler. Travailler là-bas sous les hangars, soleil, chaleur. Tout. Quand il pleut, la pluie, le vent voit la pluie sur les enfants, l'eau rentre dans, la, dans les salles de classe. C'était pas trop bien, pas trop bien. C'était, on était très chaud. Et puis là-bas, il y avait beaucoup de buis, les enfants ne voulaient pas suivre. On ne pouvait pas suivre parce qu'on était comme des personnes qui sont dans les poulailles. Maintenant, on, on se sent bien, on travaille bien, en silence, en paix. It also speaks to the heart of Master Chen Yang. From far away, she is in Taiwan and still be able to touch people's heart. On n'a pas encore parfaitement assimilé les, la philosophie de Master Chen Yang. Et on a besoin de sushi pour euh, nous transmettre et se savoir au complet afin qu'on puisse prendre en charge notre propre développement. With so many students, they wanted to take pictures with me and speak with me, and it was just an amazing experience. Je voulais former une orphelina pour des enfants très pauvres qui ne pouvaient pas aller à l'école. Beaucoup d'argent pour pouvoir aider les gens. Parfois, quand on voit de la rue, les enfants qui traînent par terre, qui demandent de la nourriture, qui n'ont même pas de droit pour vivre, aider les autres. Et dans, dans ce que je vais faire, je voudrais être aid- médecin. Avec le nouveau bâtiment que, que Sushi nous a donné, que nos réserves de la philo, je compte les remercier. Je suis vraiment ravie, je ne sais pas comment exprimer ma joie. Surtout, je suis bénéficiaire, non seulement j'étais au Collège Marianne, et en plus, parce que nous sommes au School, c'est très bon pour nous. Merci beaucoup. Merci à vous pour tout ce que vous avez fait pour nous. Même si ce n'est pas une forte, une grosse somme, mais elles vont aussi contribuer pour aider d'autres personnes, d'autres pays, d'autres enfants. C'est un exemple pour nous, pour voir, et si on pourra aider les autres, euh, donner ce qu'on a. On va pouvoir aider les autres et se dire que ces personnes-là sont reconnaissantes pour ce qu'on va faire pour eux. Being around the students and hearing what they are saying uh, about the importance of that school, To them and it, it definitely warms my heart. C'est un point final, mais c'est également un point de départ pour le Collège Marianne. Les êtres humains sont capables de grandes choses. Si on se met ensemble, partout dans le monde, en dépit de ce qu'on pourrait considérer comme une différence, nous formons une seule famille. Et nous pouvons réaliser de grandes choses si, tout, si, nous, si nous cultivons les mêmes valeurs. Bien que d'autres religions qui puissent se mettre ensemble et créer de bonnes choses, des choses qui peuvent servir pour l'humanité. L'amour compte beaucoup pour eux parce qu'ils le disent à chaque fois, comme c'est dans leur discours, que c'est la paix, l'amour. Et comme leur chef l'a dit, master, je ne m'appelle pas trop de son nom, elle a dit qu'il n'y a personne à qui elle ne peut pardonner, qu'elle ne peut pas pardonner et aussi avec l'amour on peut faire de grandes choses. Et c'est exactement, c'est la preuve, ce bâtiment est la preuve de l'amour. Merci. I am now standing in the St. Alexander Church. This is where, back in February 2010, Suchi volunteers first distributed tarps to the neighborhood. Since then, they have kept really good relationships with the locals of this area, to the point that today, they are hosting the Buddha bathing ceremony in this Catholic church all together. For the volunteers who were here right after the quake, the grand opening of the College Marianne means something even more special. In my experience with disaster relief missions, this one was the most difficult and frightening. Haiti is a country hampered by many disasters. When I recall the time I was at Port-au-Prince, I remember seeing the disaster emergency response fleet. I recall seeing the airport 
and many more. It's impossible for me to tell the whole thing. I have too many memories. At the time, I was in New York, and my mother-in-law was sick. I knew about the earthquake, and I knew we had to go to the disaster zone immediately. So I was conflicted because my mother-in-law was ill, so should I stay to take care of her, to accompany her in the last leg of her life, or go on a disaster relief mission? People say they get really nostalgic coming back here, but then again, it's not really so because it's really like you're seeing your own family again. But at the same time, you also feel so sorry for them because they've been through so much. And to be honest, there's really a limit to how much we can do to help. But they really, really need so much help, there's no end. Yes, our relationship really is very deep. And after three years, I'm so happy to see that Haiti is much, much cleaner. Totally to my surprise. Totally to my surprise. Now, after our long and hard efforts, I feel that this school is like a precious castle that has come out from the rubble. And this castle symbolizes the love of all Suji volunteers around the globe. After 16 months of construction, we are going to present to the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Anne the completion of the all-girls schools, College Marie Anne, and Christ the King Secretarial School tomorrow. So it's important to record the grand opening date, which is May 17, 2013. We need to give a lot of the credit to Brother James Chen. Without his dedication, today wouldn't have been possible. He looks soft on the outside, but he's really tough on the inside. It's just as Dharma Master Zheng Yan says, James perseveres when he needs to and expresses love and compassion at the correct moments. So because of his capability, this school was to be completed. Please also welcome Suzy volunteer, Brother James Chen, to come up. He has flown from Los Angeles to Haiti 35 times in the past three years. He lives and breathes this school project and has been testing this construction from the ground up. Please give him a round of applause. It's been incredible. I don't know how you keep your energy. Where do you find this energy? I'm really grateful. I'm very happy. I have the chance to do something. Mm -hmm. And uh, each time when I came over to here, you know, when I see the progress of the construction, I'm very happy. Of course, my physical body is exhausted. Each time exhausted. But uh, I'm very in inside, very peace, very happy. And, and because, you know, the construction company, OECC, they don't want me to stay here all the time. No, the the no. reason is always push, push. <laughs> you know, so it's, it, it, it is, I'm very, very happy because like, um, you, you know, the steel frame, it was delayed a couple months. Yeah, and uh, we catch up finally. The education is a future. We will make difference. Of course, the most important person I want to appreciate is our dear master and the global 2G volunteers. Without your love, we cannot make it. I want to express to Master Cheng Yan and volunteers around the world that I have done my best. OECC, there's no doubt about them because honestly they could have rejected our project, but they accepted it and I believe they made it their life calling. Please help me welcome the construction team of OECC, Overseas Engineer Construction Company, Mr. David Chan, Mr. Yan, and their professional and dedicated team. I already handled more than 50 projects in Haiti during the past 12 years. This is one of the best projects that I shall keep in my memories in my life forever. I think after being here for so many years, he finally sees hope. Every day is an exciting day. When the students interacted with us yesterday, they were very happy and touched. He was priceless because I was given this opportunity, which has made my life very meaningful. So when I leave this place, the most memorable thing I will always remember 
is that I got to work with Tsuchi. There are way too many things that need to be done to rebuild this country. But the recovery efforts is not only in rebuilding the infrastructure, it's also important to refine the way people think, and that is through education. Thus, the construction of this school will assist in this fundamental change. When they enter society and become a mom, a wife, if they can apply what they learned here, at home, in public, or in the government, then there is definitely hope for Haiti. The students are very grateful that they've been given a chance. This is actually a very good lesson that is convincing enough for the whole country that Haiti has hope. Haitians need to learn how to be selfless. They need to think of not only themselves, because then there's no hope. So eons later, we hope the Sisters of St. Anne will continue to emulate Zerchi's spirit in the three schools. This is our wish in the long run, to combine the talents of the students who represents Haiti's future with Zerchi's spirit as one. We are like messengers who have brought the circle of love to Haiti. Who would have thought that through the reconstruction of the school, the students learned one key lesson, and that is, in fact, people around the world love and care about them. Students of the school, especially the ones in the past two to three years, they must be feeling the difference since they witnessed a major transformation. I believe they will always remember this moment in their lives, because this isn't only about Siji or Haiti, it's beyond that. It's about the circle of love. During the ceremony, Senator Simon de Ras thanked the Tsuchi volunteer for what they have done since the quake, for what they are doing today, and for what they will continue to do. Because he said he wants Tsuchi to settle here in Haiti. It was truly moving to see the interaction between the Haitian local volunteers and the volunteers from Taiwan, Canada, or the US. Our team has come here many times since the earthquake. We made a point of following for you the long road to recovery until Haiti stands again as the Pearl of the Caribbean. We will be back here really soon, so stay with us. I'm Neil Sokont, see you soon.